Hey, what's up, everyone? Welcome back to another episode of Seven Days. It's the morning of day number 12, and tonight is a horde. Uh, so we do need to get prepared for that. Now, there's a little bit of a dilemma that I'm kind of facing here, um, which is this area right here. Now, the front area is concrete, which typically it would make for the base to be a lot more fortified. But what the zombies are going to end up doing is they're going to end up trying to beat through the cobblestone. Now, the reason why they're going to try to beat through the cobblestone is not because of the concrete. They're going to do that because of this door right here. Now, this door is uh, 4,000 hit, well, 5,000 hit points. Um, that's the reason why they're going to try to beat through the concrete, or not the concrete, the cobblestone. So, in order to remedy that, uh, there's a couple of things that we can do. Uh, either we can go ahead and get some more concrete, and we would have to at least make everything, at the very least, at eye level concreted, so that way they won't have any incentive to beat through uh you know the walls of the base uh, another thing that we could do to remedy this is we can go ahead and break down this iron door and just put in a wood door uh, for the time being it'll, it'll serve just as well as the hatches it'll just be a little bit easier um, to be able to repair and things like that and it will also be easier to break down too because they'll just kind of bundle up at the doorway um, but that's fine um, but that's something that we are going to need to try to obtain is to see if we can get, um, you know, some more concrete. If we can get some more concrete, we won't have to really worry about it because uh, they'll just go around, you know. Um, but that is something that we do need to concern ourselves with at this particular juncture. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to pass by Trader Hugh real quick. I'm going to go ahead and see if we can sell some stuff and see what's in his inventory. And then we might pay a visit to the wasteland just to see if there's another trader we can find. And hopefully that trader will have some concrete. Morning, Hugh. What do you need? I need some concrete if you have some. Let's see what you got. Nope. Don't have any concrete. Um, sometimes when I type it in, it still pops up in a different way. So let's just double check. You have cement, but that's not going to do us any good. Um, robotic sledge is pretty good. Not what we need, though. I know uh, Joel doesn't really uh, have what we need because we checked his inventory last time. And restock day is on day 13, so that's just not going to work. Um, Alrighty then, on let's get way. some sugar butts if he has any, and then we'll sell him this stuff. Yep, sure does. All right, perfect. So we got uh, just a little over three thousand um, dollars. I don't want to spend anything yet with you. I want to go ahead and see if we can get over to the wasteland and see if there's any concrete with another trader, and then we'll kind of decide what we want to do from there. If we do need to break down the iron door, or if we'll be able to basically, you know, just do what we have to do without breaking it down. We're gonna go ahead and enter the wasteland over here, so let's head that way. Where do you think you're going, chicken? Can't get away from me. At least, not today, anyway. What do you think you're doing, buddy? away from my bike ain't got no business over there you looking at something you can look at my bullet did I hit him oh that sign was in the way now we'll hit him there we go what you looking at rabbit shouldn't have stared at my way. Feeling trigger happy this morning. Now, another thing that I was thinking that we could do too is we can always just leave the uh, iron doors down and we could just let the zombies in. You know? Um, that's another thing that I was thinking about. 
So that might not be a bad idea because uh, it would certainly be a lot better to let them in than for them to just beat on the side of the building, you know? So it took us a little bit to find the uh, entryway into the wasteland, but we did go ahead and find it. Um, I'd rather uh, basically go the entire way around than to go through possible mines because we can't risk our bicycle getting blown up, you know? Um, so let's see what we can find in the wasteland and hopefully we can find something fairly quickly as far as a trader and then uh, we'll head back into town. See the snow biome over there over past the wasteland. So it looks like we finally found that place. But in order to get there, we'd have to pass through the wasteland. Which, I'm fine with that. Not seeing much of anything else, though, around here, so... We gotta try to find something soon. Or this is just gonna be kind of like a wasted trip, you know? I just see a little town up here. Let's go check out this place and see what we see what we got. If there's anything good. Oh, this is like a little uh remnants of a town. Nothing crazy. Alright, well. Looks like we just gotta keep it pushing for now. Yeah, we might have to uh figure something else out at this point. Let's try going through the snow. Maybe we'll find something else. Um, and maybe we'll come across a trader in the snow biome at some point. Check this mailbox. Oh, sledgehammer book. That's good. We'll go ahead and take that for now. At least we found a, a decent book that we can end up using at some point. Yeah, it's getting kind of late. It's already hour 12. So we are going to need to think about turning back around at some point. Maybe just knocking out some jobs for Hugh. And I think the best thing would be is to kind of remove that forged door or that forged iron door. Or at least at the very least, just put it down so that way the zombies can get through to the other side. And not, you know, beat on the front. Alright, we're just going to have to head back at this point, I think. Um... We'll head back that way and see if we can maybe knock out some jobs at this point. Because we are not finding any towns. You missed! Um, but we're not finding any towns in the uh in the snow biome or the winter in in the or the winter biome, if I can speak properly. I'm sure they're there somewhere, but we just don't have the time to just keep wandering around looking for them. So we're going to have to uh, figure something else out in the meantime. You know what? Let's go ahead and knock out some jobs for Trader Bob. Now, he does have Tier 1 jobs. Um, maybe if we knock out a decent amount of jobs for Trader Bob, he might send us out on a different Trader route. Now, I could say the same thing about Trader Hugh, um, but I'm not entirely sure. But we should be able to get some pretty decent stuff, like Level 1 stuff from Trader Bob. And hopefully, you know, concrete and maybe even some more cobblestone might be one of the rewards. So let's head over there. Let's do a couple of jobs for him. And hopefully we'll get some good stuff. Hey, what's up, Billy Bob? I kind of do, sir. I need some jobs from you. But let me just check your inventory real quick. Just to make sure you don't have what I need. And it looks like you don't. That's a shame. I am going to buy these bellows, though. I do kind of need that. And, uh, I think that's going to be it for now. Uh, let's go ahead and I do need to get some of those vehicle books, but we're going to wait on that. You come back let's go ahead and grab a job from you, sir. And let's do a quick and easy one. Let's go ahead and do a fetch. I've got just the Great. I look forward to seeing you again. I'll be back. Right here we are. Let's go ahead and pop into here real quick. Let's 
park the bike right here. Bring out the sledge and let's get it started. There might be some honey on that stump, but I'm trying to knock this out pretty quick if we can. What's back there? Oh, you heard me? Well, you should have stayed asleep. I don't know if I want to do this fast and then just grab the fetch and leave. Ow. What was that? Is that the barbed wire? You're all the way over there. How did that mess me up? Oh, whatever. Alright, going upstairs. Up. Oh. Well. Oh, come on. There we go. Oh, I remember this place. I remember this place, I think. People are going to drop down from there. I don't think there's anyone behind this couch. Yeah. Um. Oh, there we go. Come on over, fellas. Dead. Not dead yet. It's knocked out, though. Sucks for you, pal. Uh, what's in the toolbox? Oh, we got another hammer. Take that. We can always sell it. We are hungry. Is there any food? Charred meat. No. Mm, good on the sandwich. I'd rather eat the charred meat. It is going to make us thirsty, though, so I'm going to wait on that. See if we can find anything else. Take the iron. Murky water will take. I'll take the polymers. Yeah, the uh, satchel's got to be upstairs. That's the loot room. Wakey, wakey, sleepy. Alright, here she comes. Take care of Uma Thurman here. Oh! That was terrible timing. There we go. Perfect. Um, I guess the satchel's in here? Somewhere? This isn't a fetch and clear, so I don't... I don't know what's, uh... I don't know if there's any more remaining zombies or not. Ow! There it is. Alright, job's done. Let's, uh, get up out of here. Stupid barbed wire. Jeez. Alright, Billy Bob, I'm back. Now we're cooking with gas. Are you giving us 10 water or 100 ammo? Um, we're gonna go with the, we're gonna go with the ammunition because we are gonna need it, even though the 10 water is tempting and we are thirsty, but after this job, we're gonna go ahead and go back to Trader Hugh. I'm going to go ahead and cook up some food and stuff like that for the trader. We'll take some stuff to go for now. Um, let's see. Got a Mega Crush here. That's pretty good. 
Uh, we'll take a red tea and I'll just buy one water. And we'll just eat this stuff for now just to hold us over until we get home. And then we'll probably knock out one last job for Trader Hugh in hopes of getting what we need. Um, and then we'll go from there. Yeah, come to think of it, uh, we actually might not have any time to do any jobs for Trader Hugh because it's already hour 17. We kind of did spend some time, uh, you know, going through the, the wasteland and the, and the snow biome and didn't really find much. Um, we could raid this passing gas. I'm not sure if we raided this before. But we can do this. Um, and hopefully we might be able to find something good in here. Uh, there's a couple different places here, but I don't want to overextend uh, being over here, you know. Um, don't need that stuff. I think we can raid this little bit, this little place here, and then uh, we should be able to call it a day. Um, there is a back way here. Might be a dog out back. It's possible. Is this open? Front door's unlocked. A dead body there. Nightcrawler. We'll reload this. Oh, you can't get out? Here, let me open the door for you. There you go. Get rid of this guy. Really? Oh, you're not gonna get away. You're not gonna get away with no bolt to the head, buddy. Oh, maybe you are. Damn it. Well, you didn't get away with the sledgehammer to the head. Alright. Let's get through here. Oop. Of course, it's Kenny. Oh, there's two of them. Sit you both down, then. How about that? There we go. Any Mega Crushes for free? Nope. They're a lot rarer nowadays. I don't remember this place. This, we looted this place as an infest as a infestation job. Yeah, I remember this. Hopefully the loot's still here and it's not like the place that we looted once upon a time already, you know? Oh, it's hour 18. simple. Alright, yep, we got the loot. Take some painkillers, take that, throw that out. Yeah, after this, we're gonna have to get back home, uh, basically do something with that door. I don't think we have to break it down entirely, like I said, but we may have to in the case of, uh, you know, the wood, the the wood door doesn't fit, or if we just want to, you know, basically just leave the door and then put in another set of hatches behind that. I'm not quite sure, but we'll have to figure that out. Uh, we'll take the gas. Alright, here we are. Let's take a look and see about getting a little bit of work done. We might have to get some cobblestone. Let's just kind of see what we have available. In the Horde Knight box, uh, we got a little bit of concrete, but that's not going to be nearly enough. Uh, we are going to need our um, Tier 3 AK and 
uh, all that ammo. We do have junk turret. We do have the junk turret, but we're going to have to get some more iron, which we can do in a second. So let's go ahead and get situated. I'm going to go ahead and basically get uh, some clay soil, some more stone. Uh, it is hour 20, so we do need to try to hurry that up as quickly as we can. There we go. That works perfectly. And then we'll just, we'll still use this as a defense for the front base. Um, but then we'll basically go from there. What is going on here? Let's pick that up. And pop you back down. All right, let's go ahead and grab some stone. I did find some stone this way, which we can also get uh, some clay soil, and then we'll pretty much go from there, and we'll pretty much be all done. Okay, we got a decent amount of cobblestone, so that's not bad. We're going to go ahead and pick up the bike here. I think I do want to take a moment to get rid of this, um, just in case, because, you know... If they do see this as a way to get to us, then we're going to kind of be in... Tr or if they do get de uh, deterred from coming through here because of this thing, that's going to be a problem. So, uh, let's... Hold on. Let's get some food on the craft. I think I have some food here. Yeah, we do. We're going to need some of that. Get all full up. Drink a few bits of water. There we go. Um, we don't have any Molotovs, so that's unfortunate. We'll take the Fort Bites just in case. We'll also take the First Aid. Um, and make any Molotovs. Alright, can't really make any right now. Um, Alright, the Horde's about to start, so let's go ahead and see if we can finish this up. If not, we'll just kind of leave it. And hopefully they don't see this as an area to get to us. Hopefully they still see, actually, an area to get to us. Uh, I think if it's just as weak as cobblestone, we should be fine. There we go. It's pretty much knocked out now. Can we make a couple more hatches? Alright, well, here we go. Out of time. Oh. Got dogs. Mo got through. No, nope. get out of here, Mo. That area is about to fail, so there we go. I'm gonna throw a pipe bomb in there. Going to phase two. Yeah, 
Yeah, so the base is still working fairly well. Um, it seems like they're still beating on the outside a little bit, even though we're behind. Um, even though there's a clear entrance to get to us. Um, but that's alright. If they beat on the, on the building a little bit, it won't be too, too bad. Um, I'm not really too concerned. Because, uh, it's not all that bad, you know? So we should be alright. Dogs are a little bit of a problem because they're kind of hard to hit. Other than that, it's not too bad. Maybe it's time to take a first ki first tape kit. Uh, we'll take a four bites as well, just in case. We didn't need, we didn't really need junkie tonight. Not really concerned. Um, so second phase is pretty much a beast. It's gonna take a lot tougher zombies for them to basically bust through this thing. So. Uh, no worries here. Oh, bikers are showing up. Shots to save and conserve ammo here. That's what's gonna make them, uh. Oh! Gotta repair the handgun. Let me do that real quick. We'll switch to the AK. Get back here, lady. Oh. out pretty well. Second phase of this base is an absolute beast. Um, let's go out this way. And we're going to face you like so. Actually, let's get this loot bag. There we go. Sometimes there's a little bit of a lull for hordes, but I think we should be fine. We'll scrap that, take everything else, put that up. Pretty successful horde night. Not too bad. They were beating on the stairs a little bit, but that's fine. 
The stairs will need to become stronger eventually. Let's grab the rest of the stuff. Alright. All right, well, another successful horde night in the bag here. So I think in the morning, first thing in the morning, what we're going to end up doing is going over to Trader Hughes, maybe seeing what he restocks with. Um, hopefully he has some more concrete that we can be able to buy from him. Uh, we might be able to sell some stuff and do all that kind of stuff, but uh, we do have a, still a decent amount of loot or a decent amount of coins, so we should be able to buy any concrete that he may have. We can also pass by Trader Billy Bob's and see if he has any concrete. Um, and then we could pretty much do some jobs for Trader Hugh and then go from there and get prepared for another four days uh, for the next horde. And we also do need to craft some ammunition for our AK because we did use a pretty good amount of it. Uh, we do have a good, a decent amount of the uh, nine millimeter ammo, but we also do need to get our junkie activated in the next horde as well. But anyways, guys, that's going to be it for this particular episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I hope you guys are looking forward to seeing more. Thank you guys so much for watching and all the support. It really does mean a lot, and I will see you guys on the next episode.